Howdy, howdy, everyone. This is Eugene, custom built motorized bicycles.com. You want to break your chain, cut it, whatever. Okay, so basically, the component on the chain, which is called the pin links, that's where we need to. Uh, to use the tool, you've got the pin inside the tool that forces out the pin on the pin link. And what you'll do is you will spread the jaws, you will get a grip of it where the pin link mates to the roller link. And uh, it'll be a little bit more clear here, but the pin link has the face on it. And uh, the roller link is kind of uh, inside, uh, underneath the pin links there. We're going to force out the, uh, the, the first pin that connects to the uh, roller link on the uh, section of the chain that we're going to keep and uh, it gets rather hard here and then it just pops where you, uh, you, you've you popped the pin through the uh, the top plate there and let's go to the other one here you loosen it up spread the jaws clip on it crank down on it and it pops loose so we've got the uh, the, the, the plate or the face from the uh, the pin link that uh, that keeps the, that's pressed onto the pin link, we've got that removed. Now we need to remove the the pin link here with the uh, screw with the screwdriver. Sometimes I'll use a pair of pliers, whatever tools I got handy to to get the pin out. And the master link or the connector link will go back in the place where the uh, the pin link was as well. Uh, you know, once you've shortened your chain. So you have basically the roller links where you're going to join it together. Here is a connector link or the master link. You've got two pins with grooves on it. You have a plate and then of course you have the, uh, the clip there that clips into the, uh, the cut grooves on the pins. That's what holds it all together. And you use a pair of needle nose pliers, snap it in. And of course you do the same thing to remove it. You want the closed end of the clip to be uh, aimed in the direction of travel. That helps them uh, stay on better and uh, that's what I was taught to do anyway. So that's the way I do it. All right, so you put your connector link into the roller link and then you put the other end of the chain, the roller link onto it. Put the, uh, the, the plate, the face plate as I call it, on. Then you put your clip on. And remember, you want the closed end uh, to be aimed in the direction of travel on your chain that way the, when it's on the uh, the top part of the uh, the loop of your chain it's uh, it's aimed towards the motor and snap it on you're good to go check the link down below click like subscribe thank you so much for watching